Welcome Virgo to your love reading for the next two days of October 25th and 26th of 2018. So uh, let's see what's going on with you. Uh, let's see, um, the full moon was in Taurus and that's going to activate your 10th house. All right. Um, 10th house of career, if I'm not mistaken. Right. And uh, we're going to see what's going on with you there. So let's do Leo. No, your ninth house of spirituality, long distance travel, higher philosophy, um, higher learning. Um, so let's see, uh, it could be some traveling, it could be doing different things, getting out and about in the world, changing your perspective about certain people, scenarios, your love relationship, adapting. Um, it just depends there. So there could be uh, some good things where you try to get more stable about your beliefs. You know, they could change in some way, but I want to see what might be the person or energy coming towards you. So love interest that you might be dealing with, relationship, marriage, person or energy coming towards you for Wow, so Leo had this as well. Leo had this as well, and this is a uh, death. Uh, so that person, it could be flipped around. So if you're cross reading, this is definitely on point where some of you are moving on from someone. Now I'm not sure this could literally be a death, a mourning, a loss, um, some kind of remembrance, a uh, memorial where some of you are thinking about someone from the past or just trying to move on. So that person is either dealing with someone where they're moving on from them, healing, or they're moving on from you and healing. Letting go. Um, clarify death for Virgo. Clarify death for Virgo. So that person here is trying to really express themselves of why they might need to move on, why they might need to separate from the connection um, some of you, this could have been maybe a miscarriage, um, hopefully, you know, not, but you know, much love to the child. And that could be something that your partner or love interest could have been expressing. Um, the reasons why they might not want to be in a relationship because of those reasons, or the fact that they're still healing from a previous relationship and the reasons why they might need more time. That could be something that's going on. So what might your response be for Virgo? What might your response be? So there does seem, this is came off Elio too. Lovers in reverse. Um, there just seems to be someone in the picture. Um, and it's either your partner or love interest. They might be saying something like, I can't be with you um, if this is still going on. If someone else is in the picture, I have to remove myself from the equation. That might be part of the response. So if I the lovers in reverse. Yep, and until that happens, this is going to continue to be their stance. So there does seem to be some kind of breakup or separation that's going on between you and them. So I had to pause really quickly, but we want to look into the um, your response. What is your response from, well, as we spoke about the uh, two of cups in reverse, so there does seem to be a breakup or separation that both of you might be going through where you just might not agree on your ideals, the uh, certain preferences that you might have. And this may be something that continues to happen over and over again. So you're getting real about what needs to be moved on from for a lot of you. So what might your response be? What might your, well, their response. What might your partner's response be? The love interest. Yeah, another person or energetically issues with um, goals, traveling, making plans to move forward so the way that they might respond with a lack thereof of them responding could have their wrong to reverse yeah they're taking a break uh, they're still potentially healing from either you or another person that's still something that might be going on um what might your advice be for Virgo? so it tells you well with the nine of swords you're showing up, that means that you aren't getting enough rest. Um, like your partner or love interest, they might be getting some rest. They might be taking a break, but you might not be because you're busy running around. You might be planning certain things. Uh, you might be fearing some kind of event or something might be happening. As a confrontation, either for some, that could be an issue. Nine of swords for it. Yeah, and then it's uh, really being paranoid and not really sure that you want to truly commit all in with a particular person or scenario for some. Um, and what is the outcome for Virgo for the next two days? Okay. Yeah, you're not sure, all right? 
very indecisive about the commitment and it's uh, whether or not to leave the past or open up to somebody new. And especially if you feel like someone that you're dealing with is not really opening up to you just yet, you're not really sure of what to do. All right. Um, so let's see from the Romance Angels of Virgo. Romance Angels of Virgo. We have worth waiting for divine timing is that working your love life. So someone that you could potentially be dealing with right now. It might not be the right time um, for things to solidify right now. Or the fact that you're still dealing with a, a loss or letting go of someone. Um, your love interest might not be ready for you or vice versa. Not just yet. That's your just Virgo. Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So definitely um, that can relate to you in whichever way it might Um if your family was not there, mother, father, they might affect your relationship right now and their beliefs on who you choose to be with. Um, it could be same sex relationships and they might have their beliefs on not you know, moving forward with that different race, uh, ethics or just uh, the moral compass around everything. So one more card for Virgo for the next uh, two days from the fairies. And we have new home. All right. It says moving is a step in the right direction. So a lot of you, you might need to get out of where you might be right now. It might not be suitable for you. Um, it might affect your relationship or romantic partner or if it's a marriage, um, you might need to get under the same roof from under the same roof with that particular person. So that might be really important for a lot of you. You might be working through that right now, but you're not really sure of what to do. You might be literally thinking about moving to a different state city to get away from everyone and everything um that might be something that's on your mind but for a lot of you you might need to be moving to something or somewhere else because the place where you might be right now might not be all that suitable or might cost you a lot more um to do what you actually want to do um, if you were to stay so that's going to be your reading lots of love to you lots of light tons of family vibes so hold on Wait a minute. It says your desire is within reach. It says have faith as everything is working out in your favor. So um, this kind of flipped out as I was putting the cards away. So that's important for a lot of you to heal here. Um, heal is a good word. So I feel like a lot of you are taking your time and don't push and rush the process. Some of you may have moved to a new home already. So you may be kind of just going through the paces of emotionally just trying to figure out who to get to know. Still healing from a previous relationship and you might just be not really sure of who to trust who to open up to just yet because it could be a new place um just depends so that's your reading um you can always go to the website psychicclubhills.com to schedule something personally for you as the hr general okay so have a good one